Welcome to Hitchhikers TV. Yeah, boy! Before watching this video, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and hit on the bell icon to be notified whenever we published a new video lesson. In this video lesson, we will study the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Let us compare the relative wavelengths of the different forms of electromagnetic waves as part of grade 10 science most essential learning competency 1 for the second quarter lesson week 1 and 2. When you listen to the radio, watch TV, or cook dinner in a microwave oven, you are using electromagnetic waves. Radio waves, television waves, and microwaves are all types of electromagnetic waves. They only differ from each other in wavelength. Wavelength is the distance between one wave crest to the next. Waves in the electromagnetic spectrum vary in size from very long radio waves the size of buildings, to very short gamma rays smaller than the size of the nucleus of an atom. The electromagnetic spectrum includes, from longest wavelength to shortest, radio waves, microwaves, infrared, optical, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. When you think of light, you probably think of what your eyes can see. But the light to which our eyes are sensitive is just the beginning, it is a sliver of the total amount of light that surrounds us. The electromagnetic spectrum is the term used by scientists to describe the entire range of light that exists. From radio waves to gamma rays, most of the light in the universe is, in fact, invisible to us. Light is a wave of alternating electric and magnetic fields. The propagation of light isn't much different than waves crossing an ocean. Like any other wave, light has a few fundamental properties that describe it. One is its frequency, measured in hertz, hertz, which counts the number of waves that pass by a point in one second. Another closely related property is wavelength, the distance from the peak of one wave to the peak of the next. These two attributes are inversely related. The larger the frequency, the smaller the wavelength, and vice versa. We generally take light for granted, but it is a truly amazing and mysterious form of energy. Think about it, light travels to Earth across millions of kilometers of empty space. When it reaches us, it interacts with matter in various ways to generate almost all the energy needed to support life, provide heat, and cause weather patterns. Light is a form of electromagnetic radiation, EMR. The term light usually refers to visible light, but this is not the only form of EMR. As we will see, visible light occupies a narrow band in a broad range of types of electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation is generated by a moving electric charge, that is, by an electric current. As you will see when you study electricity, an electric current generates both an electric field, E, and a magnetic field, V. These fields are perpendicular to each other. When the moving charge oscillates, as in an alternating current, an M wave is propagated. The entire range of electromagnetic waves is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. This includes electromagnetic energy ranging from gamma rays to radio waves, the electromagnetic spectrum is broadly classified into different named categories based on the wavelength and characteristics of the energy. The names like microwave or infrared were developed for convenience to describe electromagnetic radiation with similar characteristics, but there are no definitive dividing lines between one spectral region or the next. The only region in the electromagnetic spectrum that is relatively consistent in the wavelength definition is the visible spectrum, as it corresponds directly with to wavelengths that human eyes are sensitive to. The visible spectrum is a small window of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Gamma rays, wavelength less than 10 to negative minus 12 meters. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelengths, less than 0.01 nanometers, and the most energy of any region of the electromagnetic spectrum. 
Gamma rays are produces by the hottest objects in the universe, including neutron stars, pulsars, supernova explosions. Gamma rays can also be created by nuclear explosions. The majority of gamma rays generated in space are blocked by the Earth's atmosphere. This is a good thing as gamma rays are biologically hazardous. X-rays, wavelength 10 to the negative 8 to 10 to the negative 12 meters. X-rays range in wavelength from 0.01 to 10 nanometers and are primarily generated from by superheated gas from exploding stars and quasars. X-rays are able to pass through many different types of materials. X-rays are commonly used for medical imaging and for inspecting cargo and luggage. Similar to gamma rays, the Earth's atmosphere blocks X-ray radiation. Ultraviolet, UV, wavelength 10 to the power of negative 7 up to 10 to the power of negative 8 meters. Ultraviolet, UV, light has wavelengths of approximately 1, 380 nanometer. The sun is a source of ultraviolet energy. The UV portion of the spectrum is subdivided into UVA, UVB, and UVC. UVC rays are the most harmful and are almost completely absorbed by our atmosphere. UVB rays are the harmful rays that cause sunburn. Although UV waves are invisible to the human eye, some insects, such as bumblebees, can see them. Visible, wavelength approximately 10 to 7 meters. Visible light covers the range of wavelengths from 400 to 750 nanometers or 0.4 to 0.75 micrometers. This is the only region in spectrum that human eyes are sensitive to. The sun emits the most radiation in the visible portion of the spectrum. Each individual wavelength within the spectrum of visible light wavelengths is representative of a particular color. Light at the lower end of the visible spectrum, having a longer wavelength, about 750 nanometer, is seen as red, light in the middle of the spectrum is seen as green, and light at the upper end of the spectrum, with a wavelength of about 380 nanometers, is seen as violet. When all the wavelengths of the visible light spectrum strike your eye at the same time, the color white is perceived. The visible portion of the spectrum is used extensively in remote sensing and is the energy that is recorded using photography. Infrared, wavelength approximately around 10 to the power of negative 6 to 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. The infrared portion of the spectrum ranges from approximately 0.75 m to 100 m, 750 nanometer to 10,000 nanometer, in wavelength. It is divided up into three main regions, near-infrared, near 0.7, 1.3M, shortwave infrared, SWIR from 1.3, 3M and the far or thermal infrared from 3 to 100M infrared radiation is used extensively in remote sensing. Objects reflect, transmit, and absorb the sun's near-infrared and shortwave radiation in unique ways and this can use to observe the health of vegetation, soil composition and moisture content. The region from 8 to 15 m is referred to as thermal infrared since these wavelengths are best for studying the long wave thermal energy radiating from the Earth. Microwaves, wavelength approximately 10 to the power of negative 3 to 10 to the power of negative 1 meters. Microwaves are essentially high-frequency radio waves and have wavelengths that range 1 mm to 1 METER. Different wavelengths or bands of microwaves are used for different applications. Mid-wavelength microwaves can penetrate haze, light rain, and snow, clouds, and smoke are beneficial for satellite communication and studying the Earth from space. Radar technology sends pulses of microwave energy and senses the energy reflected back. Radio waves, wavelength greater than 10 to the power of negative 1 METER. Radio waves have the longest wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum with wavelengths ranging from approximately 1 mm to several hundred meters. Radio waves are used to transmit a variety of data. Wireless networking, television and amateur radio all use radio waves. The use of radio frequencies are usually regulated by governments.
If you like this video, we will be glad if you could give us a thumbs up and see with your comments below and share this video lesson. We hope to see you on the next upload. Hey, that's pretty good.